สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to be my guest and I'm Sochin Lim Grang Gai. In today's episode, we will be talking to a very special guest indeed. Our guest today is both young and talented. Today, she will be telling us about her journey towards success and how she manages her time. Let's hear more about it with our guest today. In today's episode, we are joined by Arisa t a n t a t e r t a m SISB student and also a member of Thailand's junior national gymnast team. สวัสดีค่ะ Thank you for joining us today. I know you have a very busy schedule, indeed. So, first of all, let me ask you about how did you start learning gymnastics? Uh, I started learning gymnastics since I was seven years old. Okay. And I've been doing it for eight uh, eight years. Okay. Is it for the eight years as a sport, or is just you know for fun, for pleasure, or? For First two years, it was just hobby okay. and for fun. Mm. But now it's sport. I see. So, so what inspired you in the first place to to take up gymnastics? Um, actually, it wasn't an inspiration, but it was just an accident. Okay. Uh, at first, uh, in my school, there mm. was a show and tell. It was a class event where I see. Uh, every student got to uh, show. What they like, I see. and tell the class I about see. it. And my friend, my best friend, Bimbi, she brought a ribbon, okay. and she does some, you know, uh, awesome moves with the ribbon and some splits. I and see. I thought it was very cool, so I, I just see. wanted to just like her. So I followed her to the gymnasium I and met see. my coach. I Ukur. see. So at that time, you weren't into this. Gymnastics yet, or already you have some background already. No, I. You had no background. No background. So that was the first time that basically started the journey towards gymnastics. Yes. I see. So you also been you know participating in different kinds of competitions as well, and you have compete both as an individual and as a team. So, how is it different competing alone and competing as a team? Actually, competing alone both have advantages and disadvantages. Mm. Uh, for the disadvantages, because I don't really like to compete as individual because I feel mm. lonely and you know more pressure, under, yeah, maybe. more pressure, I under see. a lot of pressure. But for the advantages, I think competing as an individual mm. trained me to work under pressure, mm, and definitely, I can focus more on what. I'm going to do. I see. So, can you, you know, tell us a little bit more about these competitions? Which which competition have you attended, and what were they like? Let's say for for this year. Uh, for this year, I have competed in two national competition and two international competition. Okay. Uh, for the international competition, I competed in Singapore Open and Manga. Cup in Malaysia. I see. And for the national competition, uh, there's Thailand Youth Championship and Thailand and uh, Thailand Open Championship. Okay. And what were the results? Uh, for the Singapore Open, mm. I I got <laughs> um, three gold, one bronze, and okay. a junior overall trophy. I see. And for the Malaysia, I've got four silver. I see. And are these like you competed as a team, or or those are individual as competitions? As individuals. I see. They're all individuals for I this see. year. I see. Wow. So you must have been, you know, under a lot of pressure yes. during that time. I see. But congratulations. Thank you. And also, I've heard that you also participated in a different type of competition as well, which is like Thailand Got Talent. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, actually, the Thailand Got Talent. Uh, my team actually were intended to uh, be in the show, our uh, our dance show. I see. But then we just wanted to know how our preparation, so we went into the competition, the Talent Got Talent competition, I to see. test our readiness. I yeah. see. So how do you feel being part of that show? Uh, actually, my team wasn't. Actually, we weren't able. Um, how would I say? 
uh, actually we were intended to be in the dance show, okay. but then we wanted to test our readiness, so we went to the Thailand's Got Talent competition. I see, I see. So how, how far did you go into the, the competition? Uh, we were able to manage to pass the two auditions, mm. semi-finals, and were the top six finalists. Oh wow, again congratulations. <laughs> so, so who win the show and, and how, how do you feel about the whole experience? Um, for the season four, the wheelchair dancers won mm. the competition and for the season six, the duo soul sister won the competition. Mm. I, I was happy for them because I know they have been working hard yes. as much as I do and despite all their disabilities. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So what about the experience for you, like being there as part of the show and get to, you know, show your skills to the people? How do you and your team feel um, as an experience? Uh, actually, we, uh, we were happy to be in the team and mm. we didn't mind that we wanted to win the competition. We just learn about the, exper uh, the experience, mm. learn how to uh, time management, mm. learn uh, how to be patient, yes. the uh, uh, different things. Yes, of course. I'm sure that when you're a part of a big competition, there's many things that you have to, you know, conform to, especially when you're in a team and everyone's different and, yes. you know, you will have to work together as a team to bring out the best in you. Yes. So going to, into that far is already, I consider, an achievement indeed. So, yeah, it, it's actually really great. So we already talked about you competing, you know, the, the benefits of competing as a team and an individual. So, you know, as a student, you've been in a lot of competitions as we already talked about it and you're also studying as well so how do you manage to you know manage the time to have the time to practice and also go to school and studying do homework prepare for tests how do you do that um, at first it was quite hard mm. but I'm considered lucky to have my parents mm. supporting and my coaches they've planned my schedule at first but now I'm able to. Oh wow! Yes. And you know, uh, for my schedule, every weekdays I have my uh, gymnastic practice after school, like around five. So I have to finish my homework before five oh, because wow. we we finish very late. I yeah. see. So how many hours do you practice per day? Um, four weekdays, around three to four hours. Okay. And usually for uh, the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we will begin our practice around 9. 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. Wow. And then we have a break for lunch break around 1 and okay. then start training around 3 and finish around 6. So it's a full day. Yes. It's a it's full, full commitment day. kind yes. of day. I see. Well, okay. What, what about when you have tests? So when do you find the time to you know prepare for your tests if you have to practice every single day? Um, during break time, uh, lunch time, I would quickly eat and then mm. uh, revise I for see. the test. I see. And you you used to it now, or do you still find it sometimes difficult to you know manage the time? I think I'm used to it now these yeah, days. You must be a professional yeah. by now <laughs> in time management, definitely. Well, we take a quick break here and when we come back, we'll talk more. Welcome back to the program. So we already talked about studying and you know how you manage your time. So over here, I've, no, I've heard that you have to study three languages as well. So, you know, in terms of like grade wise, do you think you're a good student? <laughs> I would like to say yes because I always, I, I know I always put in a lot of effort mm. and I would always do my best. So I'm always happy with my grades. Okay. Yeah. So what are your grades? Um, around... In average, yeah. let's say. Yeah. Around A stars to B. Yeah. So that's great. <laughs> Despite everything, you know, you know, school, quizzes, 
activities, competing, practice, everything that's that's a great achievement. So, you know, since you sound very busy, as we all know that you know you have to practice and you have to go to school, do you have time for anything else? Actually, no. Um, but now my parents and coach are trying to figure out a way and trying to rearrange the schedule. I see. For me to have time for other things. I see. But right now, not really. Not really. Say. <laughs> I see. So, so since when you have to compete, I'm sure that you have to practice more. So sometimes you might have to miss school and classes as well. So how do you make up to the times that you've missed the classes? I would uh, go straight to the teacher and ask him for the works and the lesson mm -hmm. I'll be missing. Mm. And I'll, I'll have to brought them with me. I see. And whenever I do have free time, I would finish it. I see. And has there been any clashes that it clashes with exam time? Has there been any you know situation like that before? Yes. So so what do you do? Uh, the school understands and they mm. uh, rearrange the exam schedule for me. I see. I see. So. So when you have to, you know, rearrange your exam, so that, does that mean that you have to take the exam by yourself yes. afterwards? I see. So that's more pressure in a way as well. I see. I so see. both pressure. I see. In every way. I see. So, you know, sometimes I'm sure that you must feel tired and also discouraged, you know, in some moments, which is very normal in human life. So what do you do, you do when, when that happens to you? I actually... Uh, I cried mm. and and then I just think back I can't I can't really quit and my family wouldn't encourage me to quit mm. so I just keep going and things will be better yes well of course like this is part of life and you know sometimes it gets hard and you know you get over it and when you look back you'll very be proud of yourself of course so you're also part of the Thai you know national gymnast team junior gymnast team as well so how did you you know become part of it how, how did that process start it did a coach come and see how you practiced or, or how did you enter this this team uh, they actually look at the competition result for a particular match mm. and I was chosen by the Thailand Gymnastic Association I to see. be part of the team. I see. That's a great achievement. So, so how long has it been that you've been part of the team? I think this year is the third year. Okay, so so you've been competing for them basically in the name of Thailand in, in how many competitions already? Like, let's say for this year as, as you know, a Thai national team. Uh, two competitions. Okay, okay. So in Singapore and Malaysia. I see that you've mentioned yes. earlier. So when, when you, you know, practice for the Thai gymnast team, is it different than, you know, practicing by, by yourself or by, you know, just a normal coach? Is there a different way of practicing? Um, they have hired a ballet teacher from Bulgaria and I had to take lessons with her. So that's something different and new experience. Was it hard? Yes. Like um, how so? Like, how is it different though? Um, uh, for the actual ballet, mm. We have to, okay, this is the fixed position and things, but for the gymnastic ballet, we have to pull our legs up like mm. more even than the actual ballet class. I see. And we have to, you know, for the balance, the turning, the jumping, we have to practice all these. I see. It's quite different from the actual ballet. I see, I see. Well, talking about flexibility, this is out of my own curiosity. If you don't practice, you know, being flexible every day, does it, you know, do you become like stiffer straight away? Or, or is it how important is it to, you know, practice your flexibility? Mm, we actually, every day we have to warm up and, mm. you know, uh, do some, uh, the flex flexibility, flexibility warm up. And can if you tell us what type of exercise do you do? Like, um, like putting our legs on the chair and okay. you know, pushing it down. I see. Is it painful? 
Um, at first it was painful, but now I think I'm getting used to it. Okay, and what, what type of exercise, what else do you do? How long do you have to warm up actually? Actually, maybe two hours, around really? two hours. Really? Yeah. To warm up, you take two hours to yes, warm up? Yes, a day. Because we have to uh, carefully warm up or else we'll may, we may get hurt. Ah, I see. So slowly, you slowly, you know, push yourself yes. step by step. Also, that's why it takes time. Because normally in my head, and I'm sure many people, they think warm up takes like 15 minutes or <laughs> half an hour. But this is like two hours. two hours. I see. So, you know, kids at your age, normally they go on social media, they play video games, or, you know, they do different other things. So what about you? Is there, you know, any other particular interests? that you're interested in other than, you know, gymnastics and, you know, schoolwork? Um, actually, I'm, uh, I wanted to do just like them, mm -hmm. but I think maybe in future I will have time, plenty of time for them. Yeah. So I think for now I'll just focus on these. I see. So, you know, I actually forgot to ask you about your feeling as part of the national team. Like once you knew that you've been selected to be part of the national team, how did you feel? How did your parents feel? Um, at first, I was already happy to be uh, involved in this sport. And after I've been chosen into the national team, I felt well, I have to be more responsible. Mm. Uh, for my practice and for the, um, you know, studying, and I think I'm proud of myself. I so see. do I, the parents. I see, I see. Well, we take a quick break again, and when we come back, we will talk more. Welcome back to the program. So now we entered our last break here. So, you know, since you're part of the national team, and so I assume that you've been preparing for, you know, Tokyo 2020. So what is the routine that you have to prepare yourself for the Olympics? Is there anything special that you have to do? Actually, it was the same routine, but maybe some minor changes. I see. It's but not, nothing the, major. Yeah, nothing I see. So it's not that, you know, hard, just, you know, the same routine, but maybe more intense practice or something yes. like that. I see. So since you've been competing a lot, of course, in many, many competitions for, for many years now, so which is the most challenging competition for you? In my opinion, it was the Singapore Open. Why? Maybe this because um, I'm the oldest among the young kids that we went together and I was the only national team who went there. Oh, so I, I was under a lot of pressure. I see. So how did you overcome that pressure? Um, my coach talked to me and she asked one question which answers everything. What is that and question? <laughs> yeah. She asked like um, what I actually want, do I want? gold medals, do I want trophy or do I just wanted to show what I've got and do my best. Mm. Yeah. And that helped you get through. Yes, and I I was able to pull myself out again. I see. Well, I'm sure that it is quite normal for people to be under pressure when you're in a competition, especially in a big competition. Mm -hmm. So I must, you know, commend you for you know actually going through and pulling yourself together and going through that competition and actually succeeding as well so congratulations Thank again you. so the next thing is that you received many awards obviously so which award is you know the most proud for you it's actually the Singapore Open match really yeah. it seems like this one is the one yes. that just sticks to you yes. why why so because uh, for the first two days, I was able to um, make some good results mm. and scores. My scores are good for mm. the first two days. And yeah, for the final day, mm. I was freaked out. <laughs> Why? It's, it's the last day. You yes. should have been freaked out the first day, though. Yes, I know. But I, because for the final day, it was actually the most pressured day. Why? Everything had to be on that day and you know, for the particular medals, like for who, for the ball, for the club and ribbon, all the medals 
uh, counting on the final day. I see, I see. So it was the, the hardest and the most yes. pressured day. For the first, you know, for the first to uh, test the hoop and the ball, I was freaked out and my apparatus was going everywhere, oh, every, really? everywhere around the ball. And when I went out of the carpet, I was crying so hard. Mm. And then my coach talked to me and encouraged me. And was it the moment that she asked you the question? Was that yes. the same moment? I see. And I was able to pull myself together again for the club and ribbon. Mm. And went through with it. Yes. I can understand now why you feel proud because it is the moment that you managed to pull yourself together and go through, you know, a dip, let's say a pressured moment. So now let's talk about you and your future. So since you're a gymnast and is considered a successful one as well, so what is your plans for the future? Are you looking into any university in particular right now? Um, my parents and I are actually looking into um, universities in America. Okay, yeah. is there any universities like in mind right now? What, what, what universities are you looking into? Um, maybe University of Pennsylvania. I see. Uh, yeah. And what are you planning to study there? Uh, actually, I like architect. Mm. I wanted to be an architect. And Why? I like designing things, houses, mm. and yeah. And do you do that when you're free? Do you like just design random things? Mm. Right now? Okay, I, I know you don't have time, time now, <laughs> but I mean like before, maybe when you were younger or... Is that what you like to do, to design yes. things? I see. So it's actually, you know, I think it's more, would help you concentrate, let your creativity go, and it would be fun. Going randomly. <laughs> yeah, feel free, you know, being creative. So I've heard that you, this year, you've been chosen as the Outstanding Youth in Sports by the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration. So congratulations on that Thank again. You. So can you tell us a little bit about that? How were you chosen? Um, actually, I had no idea about this, but my mom, she collected all my uh, information about the medal, the competitions, mm. and my education, mm. uh, the, the, you know, the studying, the exam, yeah. Mm. And she made a portfolio and sent them. Okay, so it's let's say it's all done by your mother. Yes. I see. And you were awarded the National Sports Scholarship as well. That again, congratulations. <laughs> That's a lot of achievement for you. Could must say it's a good year for you this year. Yes. So, you know, as you know, many kids maybe they have a dream to become a gymnast just like you are and they might be looking and watching this episode right now. Is there anything you would like to say to them, maybe to encourage them or give them some advice? Mm, actually, uh, at first you you don't have to be good at it, mm. but you just have to enjoy it. And if you enjoy it, everything will turn good, and everything will be yeah, just like you wanted to. And for me, it's just I enjoyed it at first playing sport. I just enjoy running, jumping mm. around. And simple things. Yeah, simple things, the like kids, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but when time passed, you learn things. You learn many things from experience, competition, and when you look back, it's an achievement. I see. And what about people who, you know, feel discouraged sometimes? Is there any word of advice for them? I, uh, you know, I know it was hard because I've experienced it, mm. but it will be better when time passes, mm. and you just maybe have to endure it. Yeah. Yeah, and enjoy it. Yes, of course. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, and thank, thank you for you. sharing your experience and your stories with us. Kapun ka. Fa has proven to us that with determination and hard work, anything can be successful. To be able to be part of Thailand's national gymnastics team is definitely a great achievement, especially in a very young age. She's definitely a role model for youngsters to look up to. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. See you again next time. สวัสดีค่ะ